So have you ever wondered what is the most powerful technique a man can have to attract women? Um, I have my theories, right? Um, and we're going to be reacting to a video from Olivia Alexis. She has her theories. I have my theories. So let's see what she has to say about how to attract any any technique any man can have. I thought it said how to attract any man. I'm like, am I in the right, right channel? Um, if you guys want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, go to mindfulattraction.org. And don't forget, you guys can purchase my course, um, Dark Game, to learn how to apply this. You guys can use the coupon code MINDFUL to get 50% off my course, Dark Game, okay? All right, let's begin with the video. Guys, today I'm gonna share a technique so powerful. It might as well be a superpower, but it's rarely even talked about. The technique that I'm speaking of is self-controlled silence when it comes to women. Now, before I break this down and all- Self-controlled silence. Okay. I mean, for me, it would be developing leadership traits pretty much learning how to lead people learning how to move up the ranks where people want you to be a manager where people want you to be their leader um those leadership qualities always attracts women a hundred percent like tell me you cannot find me a boss or a manager or a ceo who's not getting poom poom now this is how that works i mean it's very hard for me to find a dance teacher who has never hooked up with one of his students it's very hard for me to find a freaking yoga teacher who hasn't gotten the number from one of his clients like it's very difficult all the complexities let's take a minute to understand what this is and what it's not because it could be used for good and for bad but i'm really urging you guys not to use it for bad Self-control silence is a very misunderstood thing. It's not about being weird or boring or anything like that. It's about making a strategic choice to hold back, to listen more than you speak, to observe more than you act. This is pretty much what the Godfather does. Where remember the breakdown that I did of the Godfather where he was just where his air, his energy, he let people talk, but also he talked, but also he took his time. All of those things project power. All of those things project masculinity. When this behavior comes from a man, it comes across as masculine. When this behavior comes from a woman, it comes across as feminine. For example, imagine that you're at a party. Instead of trying to be the life of the party and get attention, step back, calmly observe, and soak in your surroundings. Now, this technique might seem counterintuitive because we're told so much and so often that in order for a man to successfully get a woman, he has to chase, he has to be proactive, he has to show interest, etc. And yes, that is a piece of the puzzle, puzzle because men are hunters and women are nurturers. But there's another side to this story that's another key element. It's often so overlooked, it's not even talked about really. Sometimes the loudest statement you can make is silence. Mm -hmm. It's it's much better for if you're quiet, people will always come to you. Get what I'm saying? Now, I don't want you guys to be like a bunch of mutes, like a bunch of terminators and, and not talk. No, but you want to be you want to be quiet because you are you are listening to people because you're paying attention not not because you're shy it's completely different because if you're if you're quiet because you're listening when they talk to you they're going to sense a confidence coming from you but if you're quiet because you're shy when they do talk to you they're going to sense a weakness emanating from you so that's why you have to develop a meditation practice so that you could you could project confidence because Meditation does increase self-esteem. That's just how that works. It's always, it's been proven by a bunch of studies. So they, so that self-esteem boost will be projected in your voice and your facial expression. So your silence won't be because of insecurity. It'll be because you're confident. And that is attractive to women. The most powerful move you can make is not moving at all. There's a quote, one of my favorite quotes, actually, that says, the quietest man in the room is the deadliest. Now, of course, we're not talking about like a man literally being deadly or dangerous in terms of safety. The quote is referencing the power of self-control. There's five key elements that make a quiet man deadly. One is observation. Mm -hmm. Quiet men are usually more observant. They watch and learn from everything that's happening around them. And that observational power is so useful when getting to know who's with who, what are their relationship, what are the unwritten rules of the group where what are the things that are not written that could get you in trouble, but what are the things that are not written that could promote you, oh, that type of observation. And just the fact that you are observing is masculine and, and comes across as confident.
They can assess situations, understand people's motivations and see opportunities or threats that a lot of other people might miss. Number two is self-control. Quiet men usually have a strong sense of self-control. They don't allow themselves to be swayed by outside sources or impulses. And this is an inner quality, right? The quietness is the result of an inner reality where you are so at ease with yourself that you don't need to talk. Where you're so at ease with your accomplishments that you don't have to tell people. And that's why silence is so attractive. It's not the fact that people like mutes. It's the fact that what it it's what it says about what's going on on the inside and and women may not be logically adding it up they're like oh he's quiet because it might be that he has an inner sense of confidence no they're like oh wow like he doesn't need attention that's and he, when you talk to him he's really confident that's kind of cool they think before they act and consider all possibilities and outcomes and consequences their actions are very calculated. Mm -hmm. They're not spontaneous at all. They choose the right moment to act for maximum impact. Number three, confidence. A quiet man is often a self-assured man. One of my, another one of my favorite quotes. Again, for me, if you're quiet, you have to make sure that when they do talk to you, you talk with self-assuredness, strong eye contact, and with a subtle smile or seriousness. Because if not, your quietness is going to be interpreted as weakness. It is not going to have that same effect. So if you're autistic and you struggle making eye contact, what well, this, you may need to be a little bit more, you may need to reconsider things a little bit. Says confidence is silent. Insecurities are loud. People who are overly loud and attention seek are typically insecure about something. And they're trying to overcompensate for it to hide that insecurity. They need external validation to feel good about themselves. Silence makes most people feel uncomfortable, so they feel yeah. Because silence is a void. All right, people. I guess you don't. Okay, silence is a void that humans don't like. If you really notice in nature, there's barely any barely any silence, right? If you actually are outside in nature, there's barely silence. Silence. And the reason why that is is because I have ear ringing. I have an ear ring in my ear, like like I always hear all the time. And when I'm outside, it's silent, but there's enough sound that I don't hear the ringing. But when I'm inside, it's so silent that I hear it. So truth is, is that silence is not something humans are comfortable with. Because in, the, in, in our natural environment, there's barely any silence. Even when we're amongst, even when we were in caves, we weren't alone in our apartment. We were around people. And so you might think, oh, it's a cave, so it's silent. No, because even when you sleep, you're going to hear the sound of people snoring. Even when you sleep, you're going to hear the sound of the fire. And all of those things mask silence. So when it, whenever you give people silence, it makes them feel uncomfortable and it causes people to want to talk to you more so that you could talk more and make them feel co more comfortable. And without them even knowing it, you're validating them from within. You're ta you talking, you expressing yourself to them because of your silence validates them because it makes them feel better. Feel the need to fill it with talking. A man who can sit comfortably in silence is a very powerful man. Because he shows he shows that he's confident and he doesn't need constant conversation to feel comfortable. Number four is impact. When a man exercises his silence, it creates a sense of anticipation for everybody around him. People naturally become very curious about his thoughts. What is he thinking? What's on his mind? Why is why doesn't he talk? So when he finally does speak, his words carry significant weight and they have a profound impact. Number five is intelligence. Most of the time, quiet men are thinkers. That's why they're quiet. They speak less because they're busy processing mm -hmm. information. Planning. And also, most girls who had a father figure, most dads are, are more silent than the mom. The mom talks more. So men have women have associated silence with masculinity, especially if they had a father figure. And again, it's just true, right? Um, women just talk more in general. Men talk less. So just the association of being less, of talking less, and um, being associated with masculinity helps. Planning their next move and solving problems in their head. Their moves are extremely calculated, as I said before. They play chess while the majority of other people are playing checkers. I'm gonna get very personal for a second and give you guys a real life personal example. Years ago, there was this guy at the local gym that I always go to. 
he always walked around talking extremely loud like every conversation this man had he had to make sure that you could hear it honestly i think think that was me when i was younger because i just one of my problems when I was younger, that's why I think I have a little of autism, to be honest with you, was that I couldn't control my voice. I couldn't control how loud I was talking. So I was a very loud talking. And, and, and it's funny how I was still able to, like, you know, get lucky with women, right? It's kind of insane, but it hurt me a lot more than I thought it did. Like, learning to talk low, in a low voice, that will just project more masculinity. I should make a video about how to talk, how to... How to speak in a masculine way. I think you guys, you guys are probably familiar with that. I'm pretty sure almost everybody listening to this or watching this has experienced this before. Like, he was always flexing to make sure that people were looking, etc. Every time this man was in the gym, he had to make a whole show out of it. Now, as a lot of you... It's, it's an attention whore. Just like guys don't like attention whores, women don't like it either. You know, one of my biggest pet peeves, like, in life is attention seekers. It bothers me to my core. So he was after me for a while, and he asked me out on a few dates, to which I replied, I appreciate the offer, but respectfully, I'm not interested. I don't believe in wasting people's time. So one day he asked me, are you just not interested in me or are you just not interested in dating anyone? So to that, I responded, I think you're, I think you're an amazing guy, Uh but I feel like you don't know you're amazing. You try so hard to get attention and that's not attractive to me at all. Dude, that, that, that is so freaking true what she's saying. I was going to skip this part. You don't know that you are amazing. The act, the extra that you're doing is destroying the best part of yourself. I, honestly, I relate to this so much. This is this is honestly a video I wish I would have watched when I was younger. This would have helped so much. Honestly, I was too hard headed. I'm not interested because it's it feels like you're that you're trying to prove something. Yep. You're trying too hard. Women you're an told me when hip- I was younger. I remember women who met me before and met me now. It's kind of funny, right? Because I asked them, "How did you, what was the impression?" I remember the girls f- from like five years ago versus the girls, like f- girls that I met three years ago, actually. And they met me now. What they told me, I get a lot of this and I kind of don't like it, but it's, it's true. They felt like I, they felt like they were, they weren't talking to someone real. That's what it felt like. And I think it was because I was just so insecure. I was trying to hide my insecurity and women can sense it. You may not notice it, but they can sense it. You know, like it's kind of insane how how perceptive women are. And some guy, you don't have to do all of that. That's I'm like, bitch, how you know I'm not accepting myself? That's kind of crazy. That's why I'm not interested. I want you to know your worth. Meanwhile, at the same gym, there was a different guy who didn't socialize too much, primarily stayed to himself, etc. So he stuck out to me. So when he respectfully approached me, I was excited to get to know him more. And also, it's because he he also doesn't talk. He also keeps to himself. So because of his inaction, when you see him taking an action, you're not as you're not as defensive with him because he didn't give you any reason to be defensive. Silence is a powerful underutilized tool. It's the power to let a woman reveal her thoughts, herself, and her feelings while you remain a mystery. For example, if you're on a date with a woman and you're having a conversation, instead of constantly steering the conversation, let her do the talking. Mm -hmm. When you listen, observe, and respond minimally, you draw her in with your silent attention. If you let people talk long enough, they'll tell you every single thing that you want to know. But here's the key. The key is to keep open eye contact and your attention on her. Yep. Don't do a million. When, other- when she's talking, look, observe, respond, respond, fa- paraphrase a few things that she said to you, bring up some of the things she said in the past. When she asks, when, when it's your turn to respond, respond half a second later in case she has something else to say. Um, and those things, and when you talk, talk and take your time. Those things project power. That's just how that works. It, it, those things say that you are completely self-assured within yourself other things while she's talking like reading the menu checking your phone etc for silence to carry the weight that you want it to she has to know that you're paying attention for example if you're texting instead of bombarding her with message yeah that, that that's why when i'm on dates i turn off my phone and she looks at it I, I turn it off and she'll notice me turning it off 
even when I'm waiting for the woman to come to meet me, I'll make sure that if I'm waiting, I don't have my headphones and I don't have my phone on me. I want to communicate with her that I am present. Message after message after message, keep your responses engaging, but minimal. This will make her anticipate your messages. This is what I mean. Let's yeah, this, that's a big one. We all That's an opportunity that a lot of people miss out on. And that opportunity is taking your time to respond always brings power. That silence, that extra second of responding always creates a little bit of nervousness that helps you in the long run. Say she texts you about her day and says something like, hey, I had a busy day at work. How was yours? Instead of texting a long, drawn out message detailing all the events of your day, keep it short and sweet. Yeah, because if you, I know this is I, I, I'm talking. I was talking to two different girls, one that I like and one that I didn't like that much. But she liked me a lot. The one that I liked, I remember me explaining to her my whole day. The one that I didn't like, I did this. And she still ended up like, if she became more obsessed, the other one lost interest. It's crazy how that works, man. Something like just as busy, but nothing I can't handle. Mm -hmm. Any plans for the weekend? And, and if, you, if you keep it nice and short, it'll create that effect because they'll want more from you. You want a woman to complain. You want a woman to think that you're a man of little words and more action. And that will get them more emotionally engaged than anything else. All right. Anyways, if you guys want to learn this again, you guys can purchase my course in Dark Game or purchase the bundle with Nice Guy by purchasing in the description down below. This will teach you this. These are the strategies that I teach on that course. With these are the strategies. So if you guys don't, want, if you guys purchase it and you guys don't like it, just ask for your money back and I'll send it back. Okay. Anyways, take care. All right, guys. We're gonna have a brief intermission so that I can tell you guys about our new bundle that we're doing, where you guys can purchase all of my courses and get it at a discount. So this bundle is pretty much um, the bundle where you could just buy all of my courses. You could buy um, Nice Guy, which is a training course on how to come across more assertive, how to come across more confident, um, how to not give off Nice Guy vibes. You guys can get access to Dark Game, um, which is my folk dating course on how to meet women in different scenarios, how to attract women, how to make sure you don't come across as creepy, and essentially how to act like a man and not act like a doofus, if we can't announce with you. Um, and you get all of these bonuses, which is the bonuses of Dark Game, the bonuses of Practical Mastery, uh, which is about how to master a skill, Social Mastery, which is how to master your social life, and the Laws of Human Nature, which is a book club video that I had dissecting Robert Greene's book. You, all of this is naturally at around 238, 200, no, naturally is at $346, but you guys can purchase this bundle and get it at, what, what's the price again? Uh, get it at um, two. 238 pretty much um so you guys can purchase it right now um it's a money money back 30 day money back guarantee uh it's a good way to rather than just buying them individually and paying extra you guys can just purchase everything at a discount price now the only thing i don't like is the fact that i'm giving you a lot of information at the same time that makes me kind of scared because a lot of times people don't do the things that I teach when I, when you get too much information. But I've gotten too many requests to do this. So I'm just satisfying you guys purchase it right now by clicking on the description down below where it says purchase the bundle. All right, let's continue with the video.